Download Blender version 2.8 or above. Install, and open a new 2D animation window. Now, draw something. Head over to the menu and choose Sculpt Mode. Select Smooth, and brush over your lines to make them, well, smoother. Use the pull and push options to tweak some more. Done! You've now made your first object. These buttons will allow you to control your view. Or use the shortcuts provided in the comments. Reset the view with number pad 0 or through the view menu. Select edit mode. The tab key switches between object and edit mode. In edit mode, you can make precise changes. Select points, and move them by pressing G for grab. Press L to select an entire shape. Transform using the buttons or shortcuts of your choice. Back in object mode, let's look at the structure of what you've made. You can see your object layers here. Your object is shown here in the scene panel. Let's give it a better name. You can also see your drawing in the timeline. Rename it there too. Let's have a closer look at the timeline. To make your next drawing in this object, duplicate your keyframe using Shift D. Make sure you're at your second keyframe in the timeline, and let's go back to draw mode. It's time for pose number 2. Use onion scanning to see the previous frame in the background. Make sure it's on. You can adjust its settings in the Properties panel and toggle its visibility here. And now for a few tweaks in Sculpt Mode. Now, jump into Edit Mode and let's move the eyes. Here are some handy selection tips worth knowing. To drag a selection box, press B. And to paint a selection, press C. You can now tweak some more if you want, using the position, scale, and rotation tools. Okay, we have now made our first object. Next, let's see how to make another. Use the Add menu and choose one of the grease pencil options. Let's add a new stroke. Jump into edit mode, select all, and delete. Go to draw mode, and let's draw something else. It's a cloud. Do some tweaking in sculpt mode. Find your new object in the scene panel, and give it a name. Do this in the timeline as well. Now, to demonstrate tweening. Press I. This inserts a keyframe. We'll go for location, rotation, and scale. Next, move ahead in the timeline. Make your changes, and press I, again. Insert another keyframe. Moving through the timeline, you should be able to see your tween in action. To see the frames you made on the timeline, use the dope sheet view. Note that you can jump between your keyframes here. Return to the grease pencil view. Let's get back to our drawing. 
So, turn off the cloud visibility, and select the drawing. Deactivate the onion skin, and let's have a quick look at modifiers. There are lots of these, and you can do many interesting things with them. We're going to use the opacity modifier. Set the opacity factor to 2. The lines we drew are no longer transparent, but solid black. Much better. Alternatively, you may want to add a new layer, and use one of the brush choices to draw over your original sketch. There are also some handy erasers at your disposal. Okay, now we have an outline, let's color it in. Choose the layer called Fills. We'll need some colors, so head over to the Materials tab which is under the Grease Pencil. The current material is a black outline. To add a new slot for our material, press plus. Now, press new, and we can define our color. Make sure it is a fill. Click the color box, and choose your color. Give it a nice name. Select drawing mode, and choose the paint bucket. Unless your shapes are closed, this will probably happen when you try to fill it. You can fix this by closing your gaps, or playing with the leak size here. In paint mode, you can close gaps by drawing a line while holding control. Remember, you can jump into edit mode at any time to make more changes. Let's remove this point here. Once you're done filling the face, let's make another color for the eyes. And finally, let's make a color for the hair. Instead of using the paint bucket, you can also draw the fill. Now let's add some shadows. First we'll turn off the opacity modifier. Then, make a new black fill, with an alpha setting of 0.3. Use the pencil tool to draw your filled shapes. For the highlights, make a new white color with similar opacity. When you're done, head over to the modifiers, and add the opacity modifier again. Remember to set the factor to 2. Notice that the fills lose their transparency. We don't want this, so in the modifier options, choose stroke mode. Better, now only the transparency is removed from the outline. To round off, let us look at how to export your drawing or animation. Click on the Output tab. Choose your export settings, and your output directory. For things that you don't want to render, turn off their visibility. Finally, head over to the Render menu. The Render Image option will render your current image. Render Animation will render your specified frames to the directory you chose. Ta-da! Congratulations on your first Blender drawing! To help you work with Blender, 
Here is a collection of handy shortcuts. These are also included in the comment section of this video. I hope you have enjoyed this brief introduction to Blender. It is certainly one of the best free softwares available, and can do pretty much everything. Enjoy, and bye bye.